Okay, here's a few uh, hints and tips on how to work a de-expedition in Foxhound mode. So, open up your WSJT, uh, make sure you're running the latest version, and then um, once you have it all set up to work normal FT8, then you should be ready to try the Foxhound mode. So, go to File, and then to Settings, and a couple things you want to check here on the Gen... Let's see, what tab here? Uh, make sure your information is filled out. On the radio tab, uh, normally you want split operation fake it. Um, that will um, help. And then you go all the way over to the advanced tab and click the special operating activity. And then you make sure it's set to hound. Uh, Fox is if you're actually doing the de-expedition yourself. But hound is one searching for those or responding to them and then you click OK and then um, you would want to go to the de-expeditions website and uh, check what frequencies check their band plan in this case uh, South Orkney VP8 uh, PJ and uh, they say 21091 Fox Hound so you can either enter that into the settings or on my radio I can just um, tune the dial uh, bring it up to 21091. Remember, if you change this band setting here, it'll go back to the default FT8 frequency. And then you'll want to listen a little bit for the pileup. You should see uh, above 1000 hertz will be people calling, uh, below uh, 1000 hertz will be the de expedition. And they can run multiple streams, up to four streams. So you may see four vertical FT8 signals here. And um, you should also get some decodes of people calling. Um, yes, people calling the de expedition. So what you'll want to do is actually type in the call, the de expedition, in the DX call window and then click the Generate Standard Messages button. That will fill out your pre-filled things here. Then you want to right-click somewhere above 1000 Hz and set your RXTX so that your transmit frequency is there. Then you can click back um, once down on one of the signals there and you can see if you're decoding the de-expedition you'll see their decode in the right hand window. And then after that you'll want to hit the Enable TX button. And on the next round it will start transmitting and it'll send you know his call sign, yours call sign and signal report. And then uh, sometimes this takes 5, 10, 15 minutes but uh, eventually you should be able to get them in the log and then what will happen is you'll see um, your call sign, his call sign, and a signal report pop up on the right hand side. And your radio will automatically shift frequency uh, to transmit where he is uh, uh, transmitting. Your radio or the program will automatically move your transmit over there, transmit the uh, RR73 or something, and then you'll get one more pop-up. Um, if he decoded that properly, it'll say oh, your call sign RR73. It'll pop up a window to log that, and then that'll be a confirmed contact. But um, one thing to note is there's a watchdog timer, so once you call CQ for a certain number of minutes, it automatically turns off your transmit, so you have to be there to turn it back on for another few cycles to see if you can get him in the log.